I want to say thank you to the people who bought training. Thank you to the people who are about to buy training. And shout out to the Nerd Tribe. I was watching this video and this guy said he had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. He said he had 14 streams of passive income. And at that point, I started to roll my eyes. I'm about to explain some stuff to you. In this video, we're gonna talk about how passive income is a scam for most people. It's a very popular buzzword on this YouTube thing. And I was just listening to him and yes, he has something for sale. And I was just sitting there like, man. All right, for to dive into the video, what is passive income? It's money that you get for doing absolutely nothing. I will say that there have been a lot of people that have, um, it's not even semi-passive, it is there's like what I do, I call what I, I don't call what I do passive income and no stretch of the imagination. What I call, what I do is, let me explain. You know, I'll, I just need to start from the beginning. If you notice at the moment, I'm not selling anything. One of the things that I learned over many, many years of being on YouTube and selling digital products, that it was best to launch one product and promote it for months. And and when the first time I did that, I made millions of dollars. So this has been going on 2017, 2018, 2019, 20, 21, 20. So I don't actually work the whole year because I have learned that when I launch one thing, I get my messaging right and I promote it, I will make more money in a few weeks or months than many people will make investing for 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And that's kind of the thing. Cause like, if you notice, I'm not selling anything. I'm not pushing anything. I'm not saying, Hey, go get to, I'm not doing any of that. I'm probably not going to start that to 2023, but what I do is not passive income. At the moment, it looks like passive income income because uh, this morning I was in bed to about nine. I rolled out and got in front of the computer. Uh, I mean, honestly, if I wanted to take the next three months off, I could, I could easily do that. But my income is not passive. And there are many, many online creators, content creators, course creators, people who work online who will say, who do similar things, um, but they will say that their income is passive. And once again, to fit the definition of passive income, whether I got up or didn't get up or logged in, passive income is income that completely comes in without you raising a finger, without you doing anything. If you have to do something, whether it's at the front or on the middle, it's not passive. And this guy said he had 14 streams of passive income. And here's something else too. 2017, I was doing a lot of consulting, a lot of consulting, heavy duty consulting, rented office space, um, hired staff, and I was doing about 200K a month with the consulting. And at the end of the year, I had passive income of my online courses because I wasn't pushing them. I wasn't selling them. I was doing nothing. And my income was $120,000 of passive income because I didn't do anything, right? Here's the issue with passive income. Unless you have something like a dividend stock or you have a real estate, like once again, let's kind of go back to when I used to rent a warehouse and I made my rent trick out to a trust fund. The beneficiaries of the trust fund have passive income. They don't have to do anything. Rain, shine, winter, summer, it doesn't matter. They, they get those checks, those checks still come in. Um, But the person who created the trust fund did not have passive income. He had to build the buildings, he had to start the company, he had to do some stuff. But for the average person, and I'm gonna explain why, passive income is a scam. Number one, you do not have anything built. There's this thing called yield farming where you stake your crypto and they pay you some interest 
And I have literally seen people do that and they'll come on YouTube and I was like, hey, I, I bought some crypto, I'm mule farming. In my first month, I made 1500 bucks. And as they continue to make videos, the income goes down. It doesn't go up, it keeps going down. So all of these various forms of passive income that people keep talking about, they're not durable. If you can actually build them at all. I was watching this woman and she, she, um, her channel is growing. It's, um, I'm not mentioning any names because I'm not trying to start any YouTube beefs. I actually listened to her video and she was talking about putting stuff in Amazon FBA and her products. And she had lined, she did a video. You'll probably be able to find it because once I get into the details of how you could turn $1,000 into a million dollars of income on Amazon FBA in five months. Now, I actually know quite a bit about Amazon FBA. Let me explain to you why. My first foray on YouTube, I was a reseller. So Amazon, I used to actually sell on Amazon. I'll even share with you what I used to do. I used to, years and years ago, I used to be in the storage auction business and I bought storage units. And what we started to do was put all of the books that we got, we would get anywhere from 400 to 3000 books per month from storage units. So we just literally start shipping them to Amazon FBA and man, first few months, we really didn't make any money. But one month, we made $5,000. And then the next month, we made $7,000. What was happening was it took us some time to build an inventory. And once we got to, I think we had about 40, 50,000 books on Amazon. And when we got to 40, 50,000 books, that's when these seven, eight, ten thousand dollars checks started rolling in. And so I know a lot about Amazon FBA, selling on Amazon, selling on eBay. And I know a lot of people who used to sell on Amazon FBA, and I'm gonna explain to you why. Versely, all of the people who were selling on Amazon FBA when I, you know, when I used to be heavy into it, virtually none of them are selling on Amazon FBA today. I'm gonna tell you why. One word, competition. There's so much competition on Amazon that unless you go in with 20, 30, $40,000 to find multiple products and to launch multiple products, your dreams of making passive income from Amazon FBA are um, not going to be that good. So I listened to her go on and she, you know, she gave examples of going out, getting this product, the price of the products. And I listened to the video, not once, two, three times. She left out a very important part because when she was like, you go out, get these products, you sell them, you'll make this. She left out the money that Amazon takes for hosting your FBA stuff. Completely left it out the video. And this video has a lot of views, a lot of views. And if you factor in the money that Amazon takes, and this uh, it can be quite significant. I think it's like 25, 30% of what Amazon takes for hosting your products in Amazon FBA. Uh, that completely destroys her whole, you go out and turn $1,000 into a million dollars in sales in five months. It completely puts it on this here. And th this is one of the things, and this is why I keep saying passive income is a scam. The average person doesn't have enough awareness of business and how things work where someone can come on YouTube and put out this video that is 100% bullshit. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. And Amazon is super competitive. And I'm like, literally, I know people who are still selling on Amazon and who are making money, but they're scared. Every last one of them is scared because every day, it gets harder and harder to make money every day. And 10 years from now, I have an understanding that a lot of these folks are selling, they won't be on Amazon 10 years from now. They will not. And he, here's the thing, you know, during the pandemic, it made people realize that they needed more than their job income because a lot of people got destroyed during the pandemic. And I understand that and I'm aware of that. But if anyone is telling you that you have to do something and then they use 
passive income in the same sentence, they're 100% lying to you, 100%. And um, there was this uh, chick who actually put out something about like, you you know, once again, like the investment bras, like um, someone's talking about, you could have turned $1,000 into a million dollars during the pandemic in the stock market. Actually, I don't really believe that. And there's this fantasy. It's a fantasy. It's a myth. It is a fairy tale that you're going to take a small sum of money and turn it into six figures or seven figures extremely quick. First of all, I want you to go to the investment calculator and put in $200 a month invested over 30 years at 15%. It's not even a million dollars after 30 years at 15%. See, here's the thing. There's a guy on Wall Street Bets who made 120 million on Bed Bath & Beyond. But the thing is, guess what? how much money he started off with? 25 million. He did not start off with 1,000. He did not start off with 10,000. He did not start off with 100,000. He didn't even start off with a million. He started off with $25 million, which was a 5X return. Now, this is one of the things I've looked at. A lot of these banks have trading desks and they're not trading a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars or they're trading billions they're trading billions but for some reason the average uneducated person has this narrative that they're going to take their one thousand dollars and turn that into a hundred thousand dollars and i consistently see this and i have people in the comments and when i asked them have you done this? The answer is no, I haven't, but it's possible. See, this is why all of this stuff. And one of my favorite tropes is a few years ago, I was a broke bartender. A few years ago, I was a broke college student. A few years ago, I was 350 pounds, a hundred thousand dollars in debt. And I didn't even have a, I didn't even have a woman in my life. Now I'm a millionaire with a six pack with a porn star as a girlfriend. All right, I'm about to explain something to you. There's something in marketing called the hero story. And there's a reason that you consistently see, you know, that because here's the thing. It's about creating relate, 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 relate relatability. They, they come off. This is one of the reasons that I kind of struggle sometimes because Dude, you got money. It's easy for you. Because people cannot relate to paying cash for a Porsche. They can't relate to paying cash for not one, but two cars in one month. They can't relate to that. So that's one of the reasons that I don't use that stuff in my marketing. Because, I mean, the average person can't pay cash for a Honda. For a Honda, let alone a Porsche or a BMW. And with the marketing with the because once again you know passive income for the average working class person is a complete and other scam it is not possible for the average person like I'll explain. I've had passive income at many junctures of my life. When I wrote my book, Making Money A to Z for Self Storage Unit Auctions, I had a form, and I will say it was semi passive because when I was making the most money, I was doing the least work. Uh, I was doing maybe one YouTube video a week. I was making millions of dollars working literally three to four hours a week. But let me explain to you what happened. How did I create a book? and put it on Amazon and make millions of dollars. First step, I acquired the knowledge, which took me not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. It took me 10 years of being in the storage auction business to acquire the knowledge to write that book. I could have pretty much written that book in maybe five years, maybe, maybe six at that point. But the facts are I was in the storage auction business for almost 10 years before I wrote that book. So that was the first thing. So I had to spend 10 years, 12, 16 hours a day to get the knowledge 
to write that book. If I did not do that, I would have not had the knowledge to write that book and that book would have never happened. So my journey to passive income, because at one point I was doing nothing and money was still rolling in. So at one point it had converted to passive, but here's the thing, what happened to my book sales on that book? I remember it was like my sales had dropped off a cliff. One month I was getting like 120,000 and the next month I was getting 70 and the next month I was getting 20. Next month I was getting 10. Next month I was getting five. Literally fell off a cliff. So even if you can obtain passive income due to marketplace forces, it ain't gonna last. And this is one of the things, and literally what, what I'm beginning to see here in YouTube, there are many people who are talking about how to make a lot of money, not working that hard, passive income scams, uh, all this other stuff. And these YouTube channels are starting to lose views. I've, I've noticed that across the board. A lot of these YouTubers who are putting out this content, which is 100% garbage, they're starting to lose views because people are now trying to do this stuff and they're realizing on TikTok, there are people calling out these content creators. It's like, that's some BS, it don't work, it doesn't work. So what we're gonna see in 2023 is the content creators who are telling the truth, who are giving relevant, real information are gonna start winning because the age of the successful lying YouTuber is coming to an end. Because once again, passive income is extremely hard to set up and it's really hard to maintain if you can get it. Because like I said, I had passive income with my book, it evaporated. I had passive income with my online course sales, they evaporated. Now, there is a way that you could potentially, potentially get passive income with these things, but you know, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some effort. It's going to take a lot of creative thought. But guys, you're not gonna get passive income. You're not gonna go from being a broke Uber driver or bartender or house cleaner to a millionaire in 12 months. It ain't gonna happen. But there are people on YouTube who are telling you this, and I'm gonna explain to you why they're telling you this. If they can get enough views, they can get rich off of your attention. Graham Stephan did it, Meek Kevin did it, Andre Jack did it. Number of YouTubers have gotten rich off of your attention because as long as you watch their videos, as long as you click on their ads, they get money. And that's all they gotta do. But for the record, passive income is a scam for most people.